Hi, this is Dr. Holly Dobbins at Lost Creek Nature Retreat. And today I'm going to tell you a story about why it is important to leave declining, dying, and dead trees in the forest and not clean them up because they are necessary in providing habitat uh, and renewing life in the forest. So it may start out that you have a, an elder tree uh, that may have some decline and you see this tiny hole where some insect has entered the tree. Um, that really begins the process. And that insect can make a hole uh, and bore into the tree. I don't know if you can see that hole there. Um, and who, who are our likely suspects? Well, ants can start the process perhaps, but really we're looking for grubs. So I have uh, a stump here that's been hollowed out. We happened to cut it when we were cutting firewood. And it has some likely material inside that might present us with possible culprits. Let's see. Uh -huh. Come on out there. Anybody in there? Let's see if we have a culprit. Uh, oh, there they are. They're, they're latched on. I don't know if you can fill them in there and see those grubs. Can you see those? There they are. There they are. Ah, oh, here we are. Here's your little wood grubs. So these guys burrow in, and then our good friend, the woodpecker, detects that these are inside, making and boring their hulls. And then here you have the external hole that gets widened by the woodpecker going after that wonderful, delicious packet of protein. And that, if you walk over here, you'll see a woodpecker who has gone to town creating a condo. And what could possibly live in those little spaces that are now new, newly forged habitats? Well, anything really, from bats uh, to squirrels, mice of course, um, but if they get larger, uh, mink, um, maybe even uh, if they're really large, fisher, pine cone, uh, Porcupine, not pine cone. And this is the next step in sort of tearing apart the, the tree. And over here we have the ultimate example of nature's demolition crew. Breaking down all of the nutrients and components of that tree, probably a pileated woodpecker by the sheer veracity <laughs> and, and extensive work here. And once you have a tree that's broken down, eventually you get to the decomposers that restore the nutrients and create the soils from which the next generation is going to emerge. And that's why it's important to make sure to keep diversity of habitat in the forest. You have, you allow nature to take its course.